and we're back. Um, so let's continue on topic. Uh, we're talking about me being a pastor. Paul asked if I had thought about being a pastor, and I was telling him that uh, I don't want to be a pastor of a denomination, but at the same time, I don't want to be a pastor of a non-denominational church because it's just not my thing. Uh, earlier today, I was thinking about this and thinking, hmm, you know what? People are always saying, well, I'm a Christian, but I don't go to church, as if, you know, they're, they're ashamed of it or something. And I think, okay, well, that's fine. I don't go to church. I'm a, I'm a devout Christian, you know? But what what's wrong with that? There's got to be something wrong with that. And uh, then me and a buddy got off on, on a topic of uh, Ten Commandments. This was at work. Um, and we, we were talking about the commandments and talking about, uh, you know, thou shalt not commit adultery and things like that. And I started to go over the Ten Commandments in my head. And I remembered, honor your father and mother. Remember this, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. And I, I kind of, I was like, wait, what? So I went back over that and remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Remember Sunday by keeping it holy. How do you keep Sunday holy? And I started to think, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is God telling us to go to church? Am I actually sinning by not going to church? Is that why going to church makes me feel so much better throughout the entire week? You know, is it, is it a Christian thing? Well, yeah. well, well, for Catholics, I'll be honest with you, cause as you know, I was raised Catholic, and I don't really believe in the Catholic faith in general, to be totally honest. But um, I was told as a young child is that if you didn't go to church, and I'm not even like... I'm not like trying to over dramatic this, but he's like, you will burn in hell if you stud don't go to church. I'm, I'm just that's what my pat like an old priest said to me. He was like 70. He was almost <laughs> kicking the bucket. But um, yeah, well, it's, it's, see, think about that. Think about that. How, for example, people that can't make it to church, are they demanded to get, I don't know, internet or phone service so they can watch it on TV? I mean, why, why should you be forced to go to church? What I think, remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy is. Or means what I think it means is keep it holy. You know, you don't have to go to church, but make it a day to remember God. Make it a day to to be holy. You know, don't go to a bar. Don't go get high. Don't whatever else you do. You know, don't indulge in your habits. Make it a day to be holy. Try your best to find peace. You know, if you are a person that obeys the commandments and devoutly follows God and, you know, tries your best to be your best Christian, tries your best to be the best Christian you can, if you're that kind of person, great, you know? If you're not, if you spend your time indulging in other things, money, drugs, sex, whatever, <laughs> money, um, I mean, if you're, if you're that kind of person, you're not really a Christian, but you want to be a Christian, you believe Jesus died and all that kind of stuff, at least make Sunday holy. You know, try try to find your peace with God on a Sunday. And I'm not saying only Sunday. I'm just saying making that effort is going to put you in a position where you would not ordinarily be. It might open up a door to you that will revolutionize your entire life and your entire being, therefore. Well, like... Man, I got, I'm not going to lie, that was actually, I'm not just sucking you up, that was really well done, um, I swear to God, why am I cursing so much, but <laughs> it's just, um, you, you work in a shipyard full of guys that's cursing back and forth, and now yep. I'm back into my old habits, um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so basically, no, I think that is correct, if you, you know, if as long as you keep Sabbath day, you know, Sunday, basically, for a lot of, like, Christianity is that if you've been holy by yourself, not doing any like I don't know. I'm not saying illegal acts, but like ill, like unmoral acts or right, uh, right. You immoral, know what I'm saying? Immoral, Ill, acts, Ill immoral. Um, thank you. Yeah. yeah like, it, it, if you if if you're like if you're like in a bar getting wasted, like you said, if you're smoking tons of weed and getting high, or if you're like beating your wife, and I'm not saying this is joking. Like if you're like domestic violence, or if you're even just um, if you're basically like adultery, like any sin in general, is if you're if you're doing that on the day of the Sabbath, I believe that is a sin. I'm not saying necessarily if you don't go to church, it's a sin. I, I don't. Because, okay, I'm, I'm going to be really fucking blunt with you. I don't believe, like, that church is the best way to express your faith. I don't. I feel as if a lot of people these days that go to church just go to, to like, satisfy their needs. Like, oh, I went to church this Sunday. I'm good. And then they just go back their merry ways. Let's be honest with you. It's just, that's how a lot of people think. You're like, oh, I went to church. I took the Eucharist. I, like, I, I did all my blessing. I drank, the, I drank Jesus' blood. I'm good. But yet, the next day, they'll go up and start, like, beating the crap out of somebody oh, at a Walmart or, you know, he's just stabbed somebody. And I know that's, like, overdramatic stuff, 
but that's just how a lot of people think. It's like as long as you, um, like, I'm not saying our God or like you know, I'm saying our God is like is not a forgiving God. I'm not yeah, saying I'm gonna, that. Well, I'm, I'm just saying though, if you repeatedly doing it over and over and over again without making any like amends or like trying to like change yourself like listen i know people aren't perfect and you're always you're gonna make some mistakes so maybe you do repeat it but if you repeat it for the 50th time in the same month you know what i'm saying genuine exactly Exactly. and it's like you don't need to prove yourself to your pastor or your friends or your family or anybody else god reads a man's heart so you need to prove yourself to him it doesn't matter who is going to be judging you. The only judge that matters is God. So you need to prove yourself to God if you're going to try to be a Christian. If you're going to try to, you know, impress God. You need to prove yourself to him and nobody else. He's your only judge. He's the only person you should care about. If anybody else tries to fuck with you, tell him to fuck off. I mean, it doesn't even matter. I personally, like, I'm a Christian. You know, I cuss all the time. It's not really a thing to me. You know, I mean, I understand if you take that offensively, that's fine. But I see... When I'm when I'm doing this commentary over some violent video gameplay, you know, I need to be able to express myself to the maximum extent possible. I need to be able to get my point across yeah, and express my emotion through intense words that excite the mind and you know drive you to understand my point. <laughs> so right. I'm gonna be trying to you know get my point across that way. So I'll just say that right now. And uh, I'll give you an example, like maybe just even in my life, is that like you know because I you know personally, guys, I believe in God. So, you know, I just try to um, rein in my temper because I'll be honest with you, I do have some, somewhat of a temper. And at times it will, like, it will fail me. But I don't know if you know, so I'm a lot calmer now because I'm trying to work on just relaxing, not taking everything so seriously. I'm not going to, like, I'm not going to sit here and say I'm a saint or anything like that because trust me, if I've had a long day and you are pissing me off, I am going to say something. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's just, um,. I just, I don't know, it just seems like a lot of people, just going back to the church thing, is it's like, they go to church, and they don't do anything else but go to church, like, I don't see them, and I'm not saying you have to, like, read a prayer, and, like, go to the Bible and read that, or the rosary beads and stuff, no, just, just take time out of your day, just, you know, what I do, and I know this sounds corny, I'll be on a break or something, I'll just, like, think, and I'll just, like, pray to God my own way, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, uh, you don't need to necessarily fo- follow these guidelines that all these um, churches have come up with. Right. You know, I don't believe that's the correct way of doing it, because I feel as if you're, I feel as if you're doing it that way, and maybe I'm wrong, Dylan, I feel as if you're scripting it, you're not being genuine in your actions, exactly. if, you're just, if you're just reading like like a Hail Mary and stuff, I don't feel you're being genuine, I, I feel like to add personal info into my stuff and just prayers, I'm not going to get too deep into it, but I just like to, you know, think up, pray, and just, I, that's how I like doing it, it's a calming effect, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, but dude, you, you raise a good point too, it's like, if you're following the church's guidelines, who are you really following? I mean, you're supposed to be believing in the Bible, right? I mean, what, what really, what's the first thing that tells you who Jesus is and makes you believe in the first place? It's the Bible. So you should be following the Bible, following the Bible's guidelines, listening to the Bible. You're not following the church. You're not following a pastor. You're following the Bible. So stop listening to the church's demands and the church's ideas and the church's, you know, um, interpretations and read the Bible. Make your own interpretations. Follow your own vision of the Bible, you know? Follow the Bible. Don't just follow church tradition. I mean, follow what you believe and what you interpret to be true, and you're good to go, you know? And and also, I know this is a little random, but if you give money to a church and you believe that that justifies anything you do, just slap yourself, because I I honestly hate that. I'll I'll be honest with you. I got a better idea. I got a better idea. Drive to either Texas or Rhode Island, and we'll do the slapping for you. Exactly. No, it's just, it's like, like if you give money to a church and you feel, oh, I paid my debt to society... No, you haven't. I just... Money is a man-made <laughs> object. It does not absolve your sins or anything like that. Some people think it does, and I'm not, I know this is a little, little off topic, but let's be honest, where's that money going to? The church, and I feel as if the church could go more... I, I believe the church should use more of its money to go towards other churches and keeping up um, keeping up churches and stuff, because I've seen a lot of churches being closed down, especially Catholic. Like, I was raised Catholic. I don't necessarily believe in it, because um, I feel as if... Um, I don't know. I feel as if I've just had a bad experience with Catholics. I've, I've known um, I, a lot you know, of priests. I have to... Go ahead. Go ahead. I just know a lot of priests that have been corrupt. Like, they'll be saying... Oh well, this is this, and then I'm like, they're either I'm not even joking. There's this um, middle, uh, not middle school, elementary uh, priest. He was there for two years, and nothing happened with me or some shit. But he apparently he like, you know, 
Bonald kids. Was, yeah, it did some did some priest yeah. some typical priest things. Yeah. yeah, and you hear about that all the time, and it's like you gotta wonder how those guys even get put in that position. I mean, seriously, they're not. I mean, it's not a Christian thing. It's I I personally think it's malpractice. I think. They are those kind of people before they even go into you right. know, pastoral positions. And then they use that church as, you know, their way of getting to the kids. That's what I think it is. Yeah, and I'm not necessarily blaming just the church on that. Um, because, you know, you're going to have those sick individuals out there. Let's just be honest with you. You'll yeah, have those definitely. people with those, you have those people with the personalities that can act, that they can act really well. They believe that they're believing in God. They can act like they're this holy person. But then, like, let's say they go 9 to 5 when the lights turn off and they're home. You don't, know, know. you don't know them. They're probably like this drug dealer and like pill popping type of person. You don't know them. And it, that's, honestly, I just feel as if, and maybe, I don't know how you believe on this, but I think his priest, they can't get married in the Catholic um, religion. I feel as if that has some like some things to do with it. To be totally honest, because um, I feel as if if they're all just exposed to old people and children, it does kind of. I'm not excusing them, but I'm just saying it's like it kind of. It, you're saying it kind of has a psychological explanation. Yeah, it it does because it's like, you know, what else are they gonna get off to? And I'm not trying to be sick or something, but it's just you know they. I think the Catholic Church. Let's be honest with you. Yo, it's right way too side. old. It's seriously all its out, ways are set are like way too old. Let's be honest with you. Like, um, if you really um, what, like what was it? Another one one of down um, range. one range. of uh, fucking. I'm sorry. Like in elementary school or like stuff when uh, girls, example, like this nun. She's like, oh, you should be learning how to sew and stuff like that. You shouldn't be worrying about sports and stuff. Like to my to like to my sister, I think it was. And it's like I feel as if the Catholic Church is too old and set in its ways. And that's why, like, they're, they're set up to, like, a lot of corruption. And the like, Catholic they're much Church, too traditional, you're saying? Yeah, yeah, In a modern exactly. world? And, yeah. and, the th- and I'm not saying you change everything, because, I, like I told you, I don't think a lot of people in this generation, like, in today's society have a lot of moral fiber. I'm just saying, just make the correct, like, updates and whatnot. And the, and the problem I have, though, with the uh, Catholic Church is... Is that they have all this money, and let's be honest with you, they do, to spend on, you know, gold tabernacles and all that good stuff that's, like, really expensive. I'm not saying, you know, that's it's a terrible thing, but I believe they could put that money towards, like, I don't know, not, I'm not saying necessarily, like, the Make-A-Wish Foundation or stuff like that, but to charities, help out people in need and stuff like that, make out programs. I know there's certain churches that do that. But I just don't feel as if there's enough. And the problem is the Catholic Church has a bad history. People don't understand this. Like, um, that's another thing with Catholics. I know I technically am one. Is that they, it's always like, poor me, poor me. Like, I know I know, did, Jesus did get crucified. And they blame the Jews and whatnot. And the Romans. I'm just saying, a lot of the Catholic Church has done just as much as shady stuff. Let's be honest with you. You know, going well, the, down to... The Catholic down, Church does everything from, you know, the... Uh, I wanted to say escalades or escapades. I I don't know why. What what was it called? Uh, crusades. Crusades. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, they did the, they did everything from the crusades to telling people you know if they gave a certain amount of money they could get prayed out of hell or something like that. Um, they 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 worship idols sometimes. I mean they worship you know uh, Mary, which is completely pointless. Um, they they were doing that for a time. I don't know if they still do. Oh uh, no 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 dude that, that's the that's the thing is I don't get it. I'm not trying to interrupt you is do not celebrate false gods now technically Mary is a saint because she's like she uh you know gave birth to Jesus and right she was right a virgin but what did but what did she do though I mean she's the mother of Jesus she she was still a sinner just like everybody else I don't understand why we need to worship her see the thing is with the Catholic religion this is why I don't kind of agree with it I don't know if other Christian religions I'm not exactly educated what they believe in Mary but the Catholic religion Mary is believed to be have not any sin. She was born without sin. Yo, so, to me, that makes that no sense because down. aren't we taught like? I'm so, well, the I was only taught. person who was born without sin was Jesus. Yes. Yeah, exactly. And the, and the only thing and the problem Holy I have shit, is it's like guys. the Catholic Church is like, oh, so oh shit, we we, we kind of fucked. Oh, edit this right here. And the thing and the, and the thing is, it's like, don't celebrate down. idols. That's Dude, something like, don't I celebrate know. false gods. You know what I'm saying? Right. They don't like don't. That's exactly Number in the one Bible. You shall have no other gods before me. And that's the thing, though. They make these other people into basically. Like minor gods, it 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 just it is what it is, right. you know. And Mary was a person, and I don't get what the Catholic religion trying to saying is like, oh, 
you know, she was born without original sin. I'm like, what? That that makes no sense. That, that you can't just put that in there. Like, just because technically, like, was her mother born without original sin? Like, where does it come from? You know what I mean? Like, I I, I could go on a tangent on this, but I'm just saying, it's like the Catholic Church is also been bought off, they've been bought off, like, the people, they pay them off, like, oh, well, you know, we're gonna look the other way, and let's be honest with you, um, popes, some, like, historically, there's been popes that have been excommunicated, because they've done, like, well, now, but they've done some pretty shady stuff, like, they, like, slaves and stuff like that, and, you know, listen, I'm Catholic, technically, so, you know, you might be like, oh, like, would you be defending your religion? I'm just gonna call ball, ball, strike, strike. The Catholic religion's just messed up in yeah, a lot of aspects. Like they they the put shit. up this, like, front that they're this perfect shadow. religion and that everybody should be a Catholic and call it Catholicism and that, like, the Pope is the, like, most honest person in the world. No, they're human yeah. beings. Right. You know, but I don't believe, I don't believe the Pope is above me in any oh. aspect. I will give I'll him the, the fact that left, is, right? I'll give him props. I'm just saying, I'll give him props on being can. that old and being that wise oh. in a lot of aspects. Yeah. But that doesn't make him above me. That's another thing is the Pope is celebrated. I, uh, I'm, okay, I know I'm going to probably rage <laughs> on this, and people will disagree with this. Yo, but the Pope is celebrated as a minor god, god, it seems like. I'm, no, seriously, I'm go to the turnouts of the Pope. Go to the turnouts. People are going crazy. It's time like time he's the next Jesus. It, it is. In a lot of aspects, they treat him like that. Know, Whereas, like, I know they're trying to, um, represent their religion. I get that. But it just seems like they try to put themselves on this pedestal above everybody else and above their religion. Right. Away from it the just, challenge, kid. And I don't know Why if you, you agree with me or disagree. I, that's how I feel. Well, and I'm I, think it's, I think it's, I think mean, it's like, up, the Catholic religion has a lot away. of flaws. And they have a lot of beliefs that I really disagree with. Um, oh, you guys it's just... Long story short, I don't really like denominations at all. Because they all have their set, you know, um ideas and interpretations of the Bible and I don't agree with them you know I like to interpret the Bible for myself I consider myself a very intelligent human being and I like to make uh, my own interpretations I like to make my own ideas based on what I read and what I feel from the text that I read and I read the Bible you know I don't read the Lutheran handbook or the Catholic Bible I read the Bible the Holy Bible and my favorite yeah, version so is the um, the uh, NIV because it's closest to the King James Version without you know Every time a new translation comes out, it's there's a lot of information lost in translation because every time the original Bible is translated, people change things, and it's gotten to the point where it the, it's lost its meaning in a lot of the more recent translations. So I prefer the NIV. That's my favorite one, New, Inter new International Version, and um, they discontinued it though for some reason. But I love it because it's it's it has the same poetry that the original did. And at the same time, it's modern enough to understand yeah, it because that. the King James version is just difficult. <laughs> well, uh, have, have you um, have you yeah, ever read the Catholic like, Bible? Because I'll be honest with you, and I, 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 man, I'm bashing my own religion hard, <laughs> but it's a lot of bullshit. It just it is. It's like it's basically you can tell it's lean towards them. It's just yeah, yeah. It, it, it's something I don't like. I don't. I just you know. I did pick up on that a little bit, and I, that's what I hated so much about it, because the Catholic Church is all about, you know, Catholic or hell, Catholic or hell, and it's like, no, that's not how it works. You know, who cares if you were the first established church? You made up your own shit. It's like, you know, I can be the first guy to make dubstep, and I can, you know, suddenly put it, put the tempo up to a drum and bass style and call it dubstep. Well, that doesn't mean it's dubstep. It's, you know, it's just, no. They well, technically, God. technically, me and you could make a religion, and we could be like, "Well, we have a religion. This is this is how it is. It's just yep. I, that's we could get ordained by our government, and we could we could start up a whole following and everything." I know we could go crazy. We could have weapon gaming religion. That'd be sick. Would you guys follow us? Would you guys follow weapon? If you don't, you go to hell. So answer carefully. <laughs> All right. Take the red pill. <laughs> But, um, I don't know. Whoa, shit, yeah, dude, 44 minutes. Too. Holy shit. Um, wow, we've been talking for a while. We dude. have. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I know we went on, I, I kind of went on a rant about my own religion. But this is gonna I, be some nice Ghost Recon gameplay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I got, actually, it's good because I have, like, over a ton of gameplays, and we're still doing this commentary, guys. We're not spacing out or anything. But you, you kind of want to wrap it up, Dylan, so... I, man, I don't want to. Uh, there's so much more that we can talk about, but we need to. So, you know what, guys? Weapon Gaming here, bringing you this awesome commentary about a whole bunch of random shit with a lot of bad words and a lot of cool things and, and some candy, I think, was thrown in there. Or maybe a lot of Catholic bashing. Yep, yep, a lot of Catholic bashing. A lot indeed. 
Thank you, Paul. <laughs> you sold for Weapon Gaming. This is Captain Paul. This is In Shadow. We're out. Talk? Peace. Peace. Yeah, I'm going to throw a nade behind this billboard to make sure. Okay, it's clear. That's clear. He ran. He ran like a pussy. He knew he couldn't, he couldn't, he know he couldn't take weapons, so. He understood that. Yeah, that's right, dog. Fucking nine kill streak up in this bitch! Fucking ten kill streak, let's go. Got low oh shh. Good. Yeah, you're fucking, we're doing work right now. We're just pinning this down. Where you at? Where you at? You, you down low? Or you're up top? You're up top. Of the All right. Let's go do this shit. Yeah, uh, you, yeah, you, you take some stone in. Don't watch your face. Yo, behind us! Three behind us! Three behind us! Come on! Come on! Come on! Behind us! Break side! Break side! Behind us! Another one, another one, another one, another one! There should be another one! There was three! There were three up here! Three boats! Yep. It's like how I yell like it's real combat. Like, behind him! Yeah, he's coming out the left. He's coming out the left. I, I just saw him on the radar. Keep watching. They're, yo, they're waiting for us, man. It was uh, just on the screen. I guess someone like put a decoy up. I swear to God, I saw them up there. Yo, he'll be coming up eventually. Obviously. Give me some ammo. Okay. Available. All right, yeah. You still up here with me, or? All right, yeah. I think we should start moving out. We should start moving out. Yeah. Pick up the box now. Alright, let's do this shit, let's go. Oh, they're taking our shit, let's go, boys! Fucking daddy! We got it, it's a point point secure. Yeah, we just beat you that shit! Epic keyword! No! But yo, that's YouTube worthy. I don't even care. Look at that, dude. I went 20 and 6. You went 30 and 7. Let's go.